Hello, I'm in my car here in Memphis, Tennessee to show you how easy it is to use the Lance system. LAANC stands for Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability. It's a system developed by the FAA that allows drone operators such as yourself to gain automated access to fly within controlled airspace such as where I am right now. In fact, I had to drive over two hours to find airspace that I could demonstrate this because here's where I live. This is West Tennessee and the only thing I will disturb by flying a drone is maybe a cow. Not a lot of airports out there. So here I am. Uh, it's been drizzling and so I found a little overhang here at the top of a parking garage and let's go ahead and get into it. So the easiest way to do it would be through air map. You want to make sure that you are logged in. You can see where I am right now just over the border here and you can see if I zoom out that the airport takes up quite a bit of uh, airspace and normally you wouldn't be able to fly right here we are in class B oh my so you can see here that the ceiling these little 400s here that is part of the uh, upside down layer cake uh, the outermost edge where we are here um, if you go up 400 feet that's where the, the planes are so i could probably fly here if i wanted to i don't think uh, dji the, the go app would mind it might give me a warning but let's just take you through this so you click on your face and this is my face and then you want to click on flights tap to create a flight and uh, you can adjust the radius by doing this little slidey thing here. It defaults to 1,000 feet, which is fine. And then hit next. All right, so my flight will start now. And let's make it just an hour. My altitude, I'm not going to go any higher than 100 feet. It already has my name and my drone that I'm going to use in there. I don't want insurance got most of my stuff uh, filled out here even my phone number there which is pixelated because I know how you ladies are you call me with all those marriage proposals and stuff I just can't know so uh, it wants you to provide a brief note to justify the safety of the operation all right what is the expected visibility to take off oh, it's a nice clear day it's probably 10 miles maximum speed of the flight will be probably 20 miles an hour way the drone is already filled in it's a phantom 4 pro so it's three pounds is the flight occurring within VLOS visual line of sight yes am i part 107 certified yes does the drone have any collision lighting yes have you completed your pre-flight check and airworthiness communications connectivity of course is the drone registered well yeah and then you click next creating flight plan there you go and it gives you the um, weather and authorization and validation automatic authorization to fly controlled airspace authorization upon submission all I need to do now is click submit and boom I'm authorized that is it it's even got a clock counting for me and it just sent me an email Automated FAA controlled airspace authorization. Here's my confirmation number. And uh, please fly within accordance and rules and regulations. So there you go. That's it. It's that easy. Now let's fly. I'm on top of a parking garage and I'll give you a tip. If you take off from the top of a parking garage, which is a good idea. Sometimes if you're in a city situation and you want to launch away from everybody, it's a good idea. But Make sure you calibrate your compass before you come up because all of this, this cement, this is steel reinforced. And if you try to calibrate your compass up here on the parking garage, you'll get an error. And then you'll have to go all the way down and out to recalibrate. Okay, so far so good. It didn't uh, tell me I couldn't fly here. Well, guess what? I don't think you can see that, but uh, it's not letting me take off because there's strong electromagnetic interference. Like I was just saying, we're in a parking garage and uh, I'm gonna have to leave here to calibrate. So I'm gonna go right down there in that open field 
and fly since it's still within my radius that I got approval for. Okay, we do have a warning. Your aircraft has been entered in an enhanced warning zone. Please fly with caution. I accept full responsibility. Yes, check the little box. Confirm. That's it. I accept full responsibility. So that's the parking garage where I was getting all the interference from. And there's the hotel. And I think, I think the river is over that way. Let's turn around and see. There's a swimming pool that I want to avoid because there's patrons there swimming. Oh, no, you can see it. There we go. All right. The Mississippi River. This isn't a bridge video. This is a L-A-A-N-C video. So I'm just kind of making the flight to show that it can be done within the footprint of an airport. It is a pretty bridge though. I think I'm in uh, Arkansas. There's some people here. Let's go say hi to the people. Hi, people. And a back and away shot. All right, I'm coming back here. Oh, I can't tell you how hot it is out here. It is just freaking hot. All right, well, that's it. That's how you use L-A-A-N-C, otherwise known as Lance. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Now get out there and obey the airspace. I want to let you know before I let you go, it's not always a yes from the Lance system. I've moved closer to the airport as you can see here by the indicators, zero with the red line over it means there is no, I mean, there, that's, that's pretty much the runway. And then over to the right there, the 100, that's the ceiling. So from the zero to the 100, it incrementally goes up between those two points. I'm right where that dot is, so let's go ahead and try to get approved from here. Altitude, very important at this point. Let's bring it down just so we have a chance to 50 feet. The drone's the same. Name of the pilot's the same. My phone number is the same. Ladies, click next. I'm guessing it's going to be a no. Rejected upon submission. Flight start is too close for manual authorization. In other words, tough noogies from the airport. And besides, you should know that. You should know that uh, the closer you get to the airport, the more likely you're going to get a no. So I'm not even going to submit it because then it would go on my record that I was a dum-dum and tried to get authorization right on the runway. So I'm going to back out of this. There's a link to the air map app in the description. There's also a web-based version. Their link to that is in the description as well. I hope this helps you be a safer pilot, more responsible pilot. Now that you know how easy it is, go ahead and use it. That's what it's there for. Please don't call the tower anymore. That's why this system is put in place. The FAA does not want you to call the airport towers anymore when you're going to fly your drone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, buh and bye. Compass calibration, not my favorite thing to do. Just because it makes me freaking dizzy. I always have to go back around the other way. It really does work to unwind you.